And I'm sure there's people here whose 10-day supply would probably carry the death penalty. But, um, <laughs> so, over the next couple of weeks, what you're going to be told by insecure Republicans and Democrats is that you can't vote Libertarian because it will cause their guy to lose. And what I always say back to them is that their terms are acceptable. I hope that they both lose. I think that we should defeat Donald Trump, and I think that we should defeat Joe Biden. Because to be honest with you, neither of them have the character or the intelligence that it requires to be president of the United States. The Libertarian Party is running a professional woman who is an intellectual, who has real compassion, she has real skill, and she has real qualifications for the office. And for vice president, we're running a man who is literally one of the greatest advocates for our principles the Libertarian Party has ever seen. Now, when Spike was asked to run for vice president, he did what we all need to do in the face of the adversity that we're going to face for choosing to vote for the Libertarian Party. He stood up and he pushed forward. That's what you all need to do. You need to volunteer for your candidates, you need to donate, you need to put your money where your principles are, and you need to run for office and make a difference at the local, at the state, or at the federal level. Go out there and advocate for the cause of liberty, and like AJ did, like our office holders across the countries do, you'll make your constituents' lives better, and please join me in giving a warm welcome to our vice presidential candidate, Spike Cohen.